Hey, what's up everybody? It's Randy. Thanks for joining me today on the Black Orchid Project. I hope you guys are all doing well. If you follow the channel, you know I've done a couple of repotting videos. And in those videos, I tend to use some sort of bark or bark mixture. Um, however, I've realized that bark or a good bark mix is not readily available to everyone. And so I will often get the question, can I use sphagnum moss or 100% sphagnum moss to repot my Phalaenopsis orchid? And the answer to that is yes, you can use 100% sphagnum moss to repot your orchid. So in this um, video, I am going to do a demonstration on how to repot your orchid in 100% sphagnum moss. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. Um, if you haven't done so, go on and hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can be notified of new content as it comes out. If you like orchids or think you might enjoy more orchid content, please head on over to the Black Orchid Project channel here on YouTube or head on over to the Black Orchid Project on Instagram. There I tend to upload more in-depth videos, um, behind the scene things, and like updates on some of the plants you might see on the videos, um, on seen on the videos on this particular channel. So uh, yeah, again, if you, uh, if you like content, head on over there and um, become part of our orchid community over there. So let's get on with this particular video. So this one, like I said, is about repotting in sphagnum moss. Now, um, this is what you're usually gonna find. Um, they, it comes in a couple different brands. It's usually in this block and it is 100% sphagnum moss. And um, I'm sure the price varies from different places. So I don't wanna put prices out there, but this is what you're gonna be looking for. And it usually can be found in your big box stores. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna open this up and this will expand to about one, one and a half, two times its size. So this goes a long way. And so what I've done here is I put this in some water and just let it soak for about 30 minutes. Uh, you can actually put a little bit of food in there. I don't, I don't necessarily recommend putting a lot of food, but you can use a little bit of orchid food and just let it sit in the water and it will soak up the water. Then I will tend to press it and let it all run out. So um, this is what the sphagnum moss looks like. This has been soaking for about 30 minutes, almost an hour. And let's get on with the repotting. All right, so let's get going with this. So as you can see, we have a plant here. Um, the spike is gone or the flower's gone. And this spike has actually died off. So we are going to cut down the spike and inspect some of the roots. So like that one obviously can go. These have been dipped already in, um, in alcohol. So we're gonna snip these off. Any of them that looks dry. And this has a big root system. So I am going to kind of prune this root system down some to get rid of some of these really, really, really long ones. So what I'm gonna do is find somewhere that has kind of like a little break in it and just go on and snip that off. Some of these really long ones, like these really, really long ones here, I'm just going to kind of reduce those down a little bit. So I'm gonna find some breaks in them and just kind of snip them off here. Uh, let's see here, make sure, and here. So like that, that was gonna break off anyway. So as you can see, I've kind of reduced this down some. And there's some really big roots here some really good roots here to support this. And obviously, since this is dead, I am going to go on and cut this as close to the plant as I can. There you go, so that's gone. Now, a lot of times I get people talking about my styrofoam. You guys know I like to use my styrofoam, but with, um, if you're gonna use bark, it's not necessarily um, as useful or it's not needed as much because these big pieces you can pick out and drop in the bottom. And if you have bark, you can drop bark in the bottom. But when you're using sphagnum moss, I really like to make sure that there is a drainage layer 
because obviously this is small, can get caught in your holes and kind of obstruct the drainage. So I am going to just go on and put a few pieces of that in there like that. So as you can see, we just put some popcorn. This is the popcorn that does not dissolve. So this stuff will stay in the environment forever. So I just recycle it. And people always ask me, can they recycle? Can I use it over? And a lot of times I will use it over um, even on the next repot. So um, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get that out the way. And I am going to take a little bit and just kind of ball it up here. And well, I'm sorry, I'm just going to take the this first and sprinkle this in here so I can get a light, nice little layer that's going to cover up that popcorn. Next, I am going to get a layer. I want to get a nice little ball right in the middle here. So here's the middle of the um, roots. I'm going to spread those out. And I'm going to take just a little ball, just kind of wrap it up here and make a little ball out of it and I'm going to set it in the middle and then I am going to pull the roots around it just to keep some in the middle there and then I'm going to set this in here and now I want to get these roots nice and low you know I like to have the crown right about here so I want the crown right at the top but I want these roots to be embedded in so I'm going to take these roots and of course I'm going to take my handy chopsticks and I'm just going to kind of work these roots in here with that little bit of ball of sphagnum moss in the middle. Now I am just going to start taking my sphagnum moss and putting it here a little bit at a time and working it in between these roots with my chopsticks. So. Gonna work that in there there and you can just work this in this takes a little bit longer um, to work in place now the good thing about sphagnum moss um, is that it holds moisture very well and so um, you don't tend to water as much with sphagnum moss um, I think with sphagnum moss you can also um, kind of regulate how dry or wet your plant is because with sphagnum moss, you can touch the top and you can see how dry it is. If there's any kind of give on the top of your sphagnum moss, then you know that more than likely the moss down at the bottom is going to be um, very, it's still going to be a little bit moist. Once the top gets a little crunchy um, and you know it's been a crunchy for a day or two, then you know it's probably time to repot your um, Oh, I'm sorry, it's time to rewater your plant there. So as you can see, I'm just kind of putting this in and I am going to go in and just re just push this down, work this down into the middle and around the edges of the pot. Now you don't want to stack it in too much, like it doesn't need to co be compressed, but I do like to get it, try to make sure it's around most of the roots and that way it also helps it maintain a little stability. So I am just going to just put this in here like this. And I like to get up above the first layer, first layer of roots and I try to get as many roots as I can in there. So this one is being a little stubborn so I'm just gonna stick them down and then put some moss on them just to hold them down and they usually will start to grow more down then out of the pot. So again, I'm just going to work this around. And down the sides. And of course, like I said, get it down in the middle. Now the thing is, this won't really settle as much as like bark if you use like some of the smaller orchid bark once you get it in and get it wet it'll kind of settle so you do want to take your time to kind of poke this around and get this down in the middle of your roots like i said you just want it to be stable too um, one thing about like i said about the um, sphagnum moss it will help stabilize your plants and 
keep them nice and square in your pots. They don't tend to fall over as much and things like that um, as they do with the bark. So I'm just going to kind of show you here and just finish this up. And like I said, I like to bring it up to right about the first, um, the first layer of roots and um, are above the first layer root. So I'm going to take this and I am going to go on and put it above this particular leaf. And I do believe this leaf will die off after this repotting, but that'll be fine. Um, I just want to get this root covered and get it growing down in the pot instead of out of the pot. So we're going to cover that like that. And again, just kind of work it down. We're going to, I'll probably take a little bit more time and work it down after the video. I kind of get this cleaned up. As you can see now, I got water all over the place, but that's okay. Get this cleaned up here. Get that packed down really nicely. And as you can see, we have our plant repotted and now it is in sphagnum moss. And as you can see, I'm just going to work that down in there. And that will be good. This will actually be good for a year or more. You can probably get two blooms out of this or maybe even two years out of this repotting with this sphagnum moss. So as you can see, uh, we have a nice drainage layer here. All the roots are in sphagnum moss and we are ready to go into grow season and hopefully into bloom season. So yeah, guys, that is it. That is how you repot your plant in 100% sphagnum moss. As you can see, it's nice and secure. Um, and there are definitely some advantages to using sphagnum moss. One, it's readily available. Two, it's easy to, um, to estimate when it's time to water. Like I said, it will get crunchy on top. If there's any kind of spring in it, just let it go. Um, if it starts to get crunchy on top, let it stay crunchy for a couple days and then rewater. You can just simply soak water. It will soak up water in a matter of like 30 to 45 seconds, so it's really quick. Um, it also turns colors when it's wet. It is a deep orange, and when it gets dry, it will turn a light, light, kind of beige orange. And so that way you also know it is time to water. So that is it for this particular video. Um, again, if you, I hope you learned something. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and also make a comment. Um, and if you haven't so, done so, as always, subscribe, ring the bell, and um, head on over to the Black Orchid Project channel because that is where we um, kind of dive more into orchids. You can ask questions there. You can also send me questions on Instagram um, if you have any questions or comments or things like that. So. Again, that is going to do it for me today, and as always, be safe, more importantly, be kind, never give up on them. Until next time, peace.